Hi everyone, Grant for the Flame Learning Channel. With the release of Flame 2023, the animation editor has undergone a huge facelift, which includes improvements to usability, existing features, as well as a couple of new functions. So we'll start off with looking at the most obvious changes, and then start focusing on the new default behaviors of the revamped animation editor. To illustrate the redesign of the animation editor, let's create some simple animation. This is an earlier version of the composite, and the text needs to be moved across the screen. So enable Auto Key, and on the first frame, move the text to the left of the frame. At the end of the composite, move the text to the right of the frame. Now turn Auto Key off. There is also the Set Key button if you prefer to manually keyframe your animations. So the text moves from one side of the screen to the other. To look deeper at the animation, go to the Animation Editor. On the left is the Channel List, which you can scroll with the scroll bar or pan the list by holding space and dragging. The main window shows the channel animation, and there are three ways to interpret it. Using these buttons, you have the Curves view to see animation keyframes on a curve. The Dope Sheet view shows the timings of the keyframes on a track. And the Info view, which shows the value of a channel at a specific frame, the number of keyframes on a channel, and any written expressions. Beneath the View buttons, you have Framing, Filtering, and Animation Editor settings. To the right of the main animation window, you have the animation controls, which will update depending on whether you've selected a keyframe or a channel. There is also an audio menu to load sound and generate an animation of an audio waveform. Finally, I must point out that most of the functions and settings are now available via context menus simply by right clicking in the animation editor. When working with animation, there are a bunch of default behaviors that are tied to your user profile. These affect the Curves, Dope Sheet, and Info view. You can change them at any time, either via the pull down menus or context menus, and they are persistent from project to project with your current user. Let's look at some of these settings. Open the Animation Settings menu, and you'll see that Regen is on by default. Therefore, any animation changes will update in real time as you make the adjustment. Automatic channel selection simply means that adjusting any slider elsewhere in the interface will select and frame the channel in the animation editor ready for you to use. Finally, show curves from selected channels will only display the curve of a selected channel instead of every channel expanded in the animation channel list. This means you can focus on the channel you want without having to constantly expand and collapse channels to reveal or hide curves. For example, there are currently two animated channels in this composite. Even though they are expanded in the channels list, you only see the curve of the selected channel. If you selected all the channels, either by clicking on the scene or using the channel selection in the context menu, all the selected curves will appear. What's useful to know is that clicking in the empty area around the curves does not deselect the channels. So if you need to adjust one of the curves, but keep the existing selection, you can do that in the main animation window. To single out a specific curve, you either click on it or explicitly select the channel in the channel list. Clicking anywhere in line with a channel will select it. The only exception is if you click on a channel's value, you can either drag it to adjust the current value, or the calculator will appear to enter in a new value. The next default option to be aware of is Filtering. Filtering is on by default, and it is set to filter animated channels. So the only channels you will see in the animation editor 
are the ones with at least one keyframe. This keeps the channel list clear and concise. You can toggle filtering off, but straight away you'll see tons of channels that you may never use. The final default option is Automatic Framing. This functionality will frame a channel's animation when the channel is selected. So your animation curves are ready for you to adjust without clicking any further buttons. You can now dive in and move around the curve as you need. Notice that even with Automatic Framing enabled, Flame won't constantly reframe the animation curve as you work. So there is less chance of losing your place. If you want to frame the curve again, you could use the Manual Framing tools in the pull down menu or context menu, or you could select the channel again in the channel list and it'll be reframed. Please subscribe to the Flame Learning channel and click the bell to be notified for future videos. Comments, feedback, and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. And thanks for watching.